Hello Leo and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general love and relationship reading for Leo from the 9th to the 29th of July 2018. Um, I've put the decks I'm using in the description box so uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if this video resonates with you. I also suggest that you watch your moon and rising sign for a clearer picture of what's going on. So I'm starting off with the Gypsy um, Oracle deck and I have shuffled these cards. I'm just going to draw to just see the general energies and then I shall do the uh, reading after that. So the first card is the Scholar. So maybe you've uh, started up something to do with education recently and gone back into studying, uh, maybe gone back to do some higher learning courses or maybe you're just uh, you know, a student or you could be somebody who's in university. So a lot of studying and uh, information around you and working with a lot of information. So in the past you've had uh, um, you know, having a bit of fun, spending a lot of time with friends, there's the pleasure seekers, so going around and you know, just basically enjoying, enjoying yourself, having a, a really great time. And uh, going into the future, there's still also uh, the card of joyfulness. So a lot of fun coming up, a lot of fun times, still getting together with friends and still enjoying things. So, you know, you could be in university or you could be studying and spending a lot of time with your friends and, you know, just altogether enjoying your life as, as it goes at the moment. So, uh, you know, uh, your biggest worry is that, you know, you're not being consistent in things, you're uh, a bit erratic and you really hope wished that you weren't so uh, you know you need to get knuckle down and maybe uh, get yourself a plan and decide how you're going to do things so planning is important uh, in your life now and going to the f um, I think what your um, what you want for the future is a lot of stability uh, maybe a more stable relationship that ends up in a marriage um, and um, you want some sort of um, you know um, consistent a relationship in your life. So maybe you've been spending a lot of time with friends and now you're ready to, to settle down and you want some sort of committed relationship coming out from the whole, uh, coming into your life. Okay, so I'm using the um, Romantic Tarot and I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to cut it and then we'll draw some cards. Okay, so the general um, energy for the cards is the lovers. So uh, maybe you're in a very romantic, passionate relationship at this particular moment. There's a lot of romance going around. You're very smitten with this person. And, you know, that's you only want to spend time with this person. So a lot of passion involved within your relationship. And, you know, so much so that you've excluded the rest of the world from it. And you only see this, you only ha have eyes for this person. And you're very taken um, in with this person that you are seeing at the moment. And uh, the main situation is this person is, uh, you know, is, is very romantic. Uh, he loves uh, art and music and uh, somebody that's not really that concerned about money. He, as long as he has enough uh, to get him through the day, uh, he's not very concentrated, focused on that. So he's somebody who loves uh, the finer, more aesthetic things in life, um, such as the arts, um, and really not somebody who is focused, not a businessman or somebody that is focused on making money uh, kind of thing. As long as he has enough to get him through uh, his life, he doesn't really care. So he's somebody that, you know, uh, it appeals to you, this appeals to you. Um, and it's something that, you know, you... Um, this is the card of the devil, so you're codependent on this person, maybe for because they're so romantic, um, you feel like uh, you know, you're addicted to this person. So there's some kind of addiction going on over here. It could be that you physically, you know, you like being with this person and, and it presents some sort of, uh, you know, kind of addiction um, uh, behavior. 
or there could be a physical addiction to something. So maybe uh, the two of you together indulge in behaviors that are not uh, very healthy um, and you're, uh, you know, you're maybe drinking too much or, you know, um, using um, substances. So there, there is some sort of codependent relationship going on over here that is not a very, very healthy relationship between the two of you. So um, in the past, there has been, you know, you've been um, trying to have a life of moderation where you've been, uh, you know, trying not to be dependent on anything, a very healthy life. Uh, you know, you've also had uh, a point where you've just sort of ignored a lot of people and carried on with your work, uh, keeping to yourself, doing your own thing, uh, just getting on with things. So this is the temperance card, and it usually speaks about moderation, keeping things very middle of the road uh, in a very healthy kind of way, um, because it is a, a card of health as well. And, you know, you were very goal-orientated, so you knew exactly where you were and what you were doing and how to get there. And, you know, the, she's completely ignoring this man. So you really have ignored offers that have come your way in the past. Uh, in the last uh, three months or so, you've been very, very upset um, about, uh, you know, your past relationship. Uh, maybe you were in a relationship that was really humiliating. You felt really let down by it. Um, you felt like, um, you know, after the relationship broke down, uh, you know, the separation was just a bit much to you, for you. Maybe you offered love to somebody and they, they, they didn't accept it. Uh, and it left you feeling really, really upset and really, really miserable. So terror will break up after that. And maybe that is why you've been, you know, keeping to yourself and ignoring all kinds of offers that have come your way. And uh, you do want an offer to come because this has been on your mind. Maybe you've been thinking about somebody that you have shown interest in or somebody who's shown interest in, in you. So somebody has uh, made an offer to you of love and you really are um, considering it. Uh, you haven't really accepted it yet and you're still thinking about it. And it could be this man here. Maybe this man has addictions or maybe there's something, some problem that he has with this devil card. Uh, maybe you know that if you get involved with him, it won't be a very, very good relationship. So maybe this is the relationship that you're thinking about. Maybe he has offered you um, some kind of, um, he has made some kind of love offer and you are sitting and considering it. But you know that there's something that is not quite right there. Uh, and going into the future, you've got the um, the judgment, uh, which is usually, uh, you know, uh, talks about going back, reviewing past life, having a second chance to do something, um, and, you know, uh, making that announcement maybe to the world that you're going to be doing something different, uh, you know, going back, reviewing all the things that you've learned from your past uh, relationships and, and putting it into perspective. So learning from a past relationship and then moving on, closing a chapter in your life and moving on. And maybe that's what you want to do. You want to close that part of your life that, you know, that where you were very, very depressed and very, very unhappy and finish off with that kind of emotion. And you've got the Nine of Cups uh, going into the future. Uh, that's how you are at the moment or feel. You feel that, you know, you're meeting a lot of people, but they are all liars and they are deceiving you and they are not giving you what you want. So you're not... Um, attaining you that emotional fulfillment and nobody's giving it to you. Um, they all seem to be wearing masks. You yourself are wearing a mask where you're not revealing who you really are and what you truly feel. So uh, you're meeting a lot of people, but these cups are empty, so they are not emotionally fulfilling you. And, uh, you know, you want that kind of relationship. What you really want is a uh, uh, some kind of commitment, some kind of... Um, a stable relationship where you um, maybe a marriage well some kind of committed relationship uh, with somebody so you know you're trying you're trying to go for that kind of relationship and obviously it hasn't presented itself to you yet um, and you do want uh, you know somebody who uh, takes care of you sweeps you off your feet offers you that financial security that you need somebody you can count and rely on so you do want that um, that kind of, of relationship. So the final outcome cards would be uh, the nine of rods, the seven of pentacles, and the um, king of rods. So the nine of rods um, says that, you know, um, you have, 
you know, looked and reviewed relationships, your relationships, and you found that they are really lacking. Maybe this relationship that you are, that you're going for, is missing something. Maybe you look at it now and you think there won't be any kind of growth in it. It, it looks like a relationship that will be very static. It's also a relationship where you have to defend yourself all the time about things and, you know, it's going to be too much of work. There will be no growth and it might be too much of work for you. And, you know, uh, with this rushing around uh, the Seven of Pentacles, you're still, you know, trying to get yourself sorted out as far as your financial um, life goes. You're still waiting. You know, you haven't uh, attained your financial harvest. You haven't reached that point. And maybe you feel like this relationship is going to be too much of work, running around, uh, too much of rush. Um, and not getting any benefit. So you're, um, you're really considering whether or not this is worth your while investing your time and effort in. And maybe this person, uh, you know, he doesn't seem like somebody who is really that caring. Maybe he's somebody who doesn't really care that much about anything. He's too laid back. Um, maybe he is older than you, but, uh, you know, maybe he knows uh, everything. He is a very enlightened person. But he doesn't seem like he has that much of time for anybody but himself. He seems to be very, you know, self-centered, full of himself, um, and not somebody who's got the compassionate, caring side with you, for you. Especially with the ten of, uh, with the um, rods, king of rods, it might be a very sexual relationship. Uh, maybe that's the thing that you're. This woman is rushing towards. As you can see, she's rushing towards him. So maybe it, it's something, somebody that's, you know, controlling you with sex um, and you know it's something that you are uh, you know you find him very very attractive because of that maybe that's why she's rushing towards him um, so somebody you know who you're at his beck and call um, and you know regardless of what's going on in your life you drop everything and and rush to this man or this woman whenever you um, they call so maybe that is not a good relationship to be in because there doesn't seem to be any commitment that has been offered. Um, and looking at it, when you look at the relationship itself, it doesn't seem like it's a very good relationship. It doesn't seem like there's any growth. Uh, it's an exclusive, it, it, you know, it excludes everybody else, but there's no commitment that has been made in the relationship. So, uh, you know, you're being controlled by this person quite a bit. Um, Whenever they call, you're there, uh, you know, you leave everything and run to them, but you don't seem to be getting anything. It doesn't seem like you're getting this commitment of marriage in return for uh, all the attention that you're giving to them. And I, you know, uh, maybe this person has, uh, you know, used money to try and attract you, um, but it doesn't seem like, you know, they're giving you a long-term commitment. And also with this card, uh, the Nine of Cups here it doesn't seem like they're emotionally satisfying you either. So you're going to have to make some sort of decision whether or not, you know, you, you do seem with this love is like you're very passionate about this person. But, you know, how you have to ask yourself the question, how long is the passion going to last? And is it something that will sustain you, uh, you know, especially if a commitment is what you really want? So I'm going to draw two cards from the um, Romance Angels and so it says calling in your soulmate, uh, your praise, affirmation, visualizations help bring you together. So you know you might this might not be your soulmate and maybe you need to start calling in your soulmate uh, before you decide whether or not you want to make a commitment to this person. And uh, there is an engagement. Life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So maybe this relationship will end up going into a commitment kind of relationship. Uh, I suppose you need to discuss things with this person and decide whether or not you want to continue and whether or not they are willing to make a commitment to you. Uh, because you seem to be very, very addicted to this person and they seem, it seems like, um, you know, you're in love with this person. So, um, oops, two cards fell. So uh, it seems like you are in love with this person and you need to discuss with, with this person whether or not, um, you know, you, how you want to continue, whether or not you want to, um, whether or not they're willing to make any kind of commitment to you. So I'll just take one more card from here. And uh, the, the first two cards that fell is the nine of area. 
Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for beautiful things in life. So it looks like with um, Nine of Ariel, you know, maybe your dreams, your wishes will come true. Maybe you will get a wish fulfillment. Maybe you do need to sit down with this person and discuss commitment. And maybe they will say yes. So uh, the Three of Raphael says reasons to celebrate. Uh, a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships with children. So maybe from the looks of the way the cards have fallen, the last card is the chariot, which says determination and self-control. So, uh, you know, taking control of the situation. So maybe with the advice of the cards, it seems like you are the one that needs to take control of the situation and put down on the table what you want. So you need to tell this person that you do want a commitment and, you know, if that's what you want. If you want a commitment from this person, you need to tell them that you want a commitment from them. And it looks like if you do, then you have the Nine of Ariel, which is like your dreams and your wishes being fulfilled. And that looks like from the um, Romance Angel cards, there might be an engagement. And maybe it will end up in a marriage. So the advice that um, these cards seem to be giving is that if you love this person a lot, and you're very committed to this relationship, and you are, uh, you know, you want this this relationship to progress to something more committed. Then you know you can't wait around and expect it to happen. You're going to have to actually go for it, discuss it with them, and ask them for some sort of commitment. And maybe that is what is going to happen. There will be an engagement and probably a wedding or uh, some sort of committed relationship um, that you want. So decide what you want. You're very, very uh, enthralled by this person, and you know the, you obviously are in love with this person. And um, you know they. It looks like if you do discuss this with them, they will come through for you and give you what you need. Okay, so I hope that reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it has. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.